Continuing on with the Home Renovation UK series, in this video we're going to tackle the complete renovation of the roof. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please do so now and remember to hit that notification bell. Also, please like and share this video. The state of the roof before anything was done to it was uh, that it was covered in moss, uh, particularly in the back section because there's quite a number of trees around this area. So uh, moss likes moisture and that helps retain the moisture. Um, and also it was uh, fairly dull looking at the roof. Uh, it had previously been quite a red, almost Spanish style type roof and uh, it is now looking pretty dull so <clears throat> the first thing um, always safety first if you're going to be working on a roof then you need to put up a suitable scaffolding uh, system because uh, if you slip off the roof uh, you could injure yourself or even cause death uh, by falling off the roof uh, because the likelihood is that you will fall head first uh, you should also wear a harness and you should be well protected and have the right equipment uh, I also invested in a roof ladder which is essential because you're climbing up and down the roof and you need something uh, to grip at so the first thing to do was to remove the moss uh, the advice I was given was that you, you would brush the moss off. Uh, this I found extremely difficult and very, very time consuming. And so after really having only done a very little part of the roof, I decided to go for a different method and power wash the roof. Doing about two or three sections or runs of tile at a time, um, it took about six days in total to clean the roof with uh, power washing. Um, then the next thing was that I went over the roof tile by tile again and removed some of the, the smaller debris that uh, was left behind after it having. So it did actually require to brush every tile down and, and the cracks in between them. Also through doing the power wash what had been concealed I knew there was one or two tiles that needed to be replaced in fact I ended up having to replace uh, 43 and uh, I found it actually difficult to, to get the particular color of tiles that I was looking for uh, but it didn't matter because what we we're going to end up doing here was painting the roof so in fact some of the tiles were gray and you wouldn't know it from the finished roof. Replacing tiles is actually quite easy. Um, on a roof with tiles, there, there are wooden battens that are laid across the roof and the tiles basically hook over these battens and it is the tile that is above it that helps secure that in place by, by its weight. Uh, tiles are nailed to the roof, but it's generally only every third row. Now, I have had houses where in extreme windy conditions where you've had to tile each row. That makes it difficult if you ever have to replace tiles because you're going to have to break tiles in order to replace tiles. Um, however, in this case, the tiles generally were... Uh, three row nailed uh, so every third nail was rowed so it was a case of sliding up the tile that was above the one that you wanted to replace removing the damaged tile then simply placing the new tile in place and then sliding back the tile uh, over and above that and then once all the repairs were done uh, there was also repairs that had to be done to the ridge line this meant replacing some of the ridge uh, concrete ridge and that meant uh, mixing cement and uh, putting and cementing those ridge tiles in and once that was all finally completed then uh, I painted the roof um, I sourced the paint in a large uh, 25 uh, litre uh, 
tabs um, from the internet I think it was on um, anyway I got that on the internet and uh, this was a case of then painting the roof the, the roof had to then be painted twice in fact after the first coat it looked pretty good and certainly from a distance it was only when you actually got up to closer inspection that you that you could see that there were some little bits that were missed the roof uh, paint is a, a silicon and um, it, it in fact even if I hadn't repaired those tiles the silicon paint that you put over this would have been enough to repair those tiles oh, clearly you want to replace the tiles anyway uh, because that may crack through time but the the paint was very very good and I have to say I was very impressed with the, the outcome and the way it looked. Having completed the renovation of the roof, in the next video we're going to show you the makeover of the garden area. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please do so now and remember to hit the notification bell. Also, please like and share this video. If you have any comments, concerns or questions, please put them in the comments section below and I promise to respond to your comments. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.